Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React.js. Today we are going to learn how to add Google Autocomplete in your React projects. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So the package that we are using is this one that is called the React Google Maps API. Okay, so you need to install this package. And this is a full fledged code that I am using over here. So you can see that. We, I am using the script loaded and the this this one that is called search box. So here, let me scroll this one. This is called the standalone search box. If I go and just check this one, you can see that we have the load script and we have the standalone search box. So whenever you uh, add this uh, this npm package React Google Maps API, okay. So this is the places component. The full one okay then we have export it okay then we have a handle place change whenever we are going to change with the places then we are going to check a console.log the formatted address lat and the long right so here we have in the load script you can see that in that part also in the script loaded we have to add the keys right so you need to add the keys after that we have a standalone search box where we have the onload functionality you can see that onload on places changed on places change handle places change tick okay then you can uh, you can do that whatever you can add the places you can just console.log what the search printing up right and this is the input you can customize it accordingly by box sizing width height anything okay the same thing which i have done only i have added the type class name and the placeholder and close this one right all you are getting from this uh, google maps api slash api so no need to worry about this okay so let's go and add that uh, search this one so i'm going to search with the let's see it's working or not so we have this one so i'm going to add it the mohali so you can see that if i just select mohali sector face this one now you can see that mohali seven face then this is the lat this is the longitude right so this is how you are able to get the data you can also save that data part right so which location i have chosen if i go and check chandigarh Chandigarh sector 17 okay so you will get all the this is the lat this is the longitude so this is how we are able to add the autocomplete functionality into your react app any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day so don't forget to like share and comment on my video and this this is the full fledged code of that one that you can use it from here and no need uh, you can just go and you can um, identify there are very different different things that you can uh, explore over here i'm just exploring the standalone search functionality so you can they have the all load functionality on places changed on and mount options so you can use all these methods of that one into your react project any doubt any query let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day